गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई राजीव कुमार गोयल एज यू नो मी वेरी वेल फ्रॉम द ब्लॉजम्स कॉन्वेंट स्कूल आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू कंग्रेचुलेशन फॉर द चंद्रयान थ्री विच वॉज लॉन्च येस्टर्डे माई डी यू ऑल हैव सीन ऑन द टेलीविजन रिगार्डिंग दैट ओनली आई एम देयर इन द स्टूडियो एंड फॉर दैट आई हैव वन इंटरव्यू विद आर वेरी नोन टीचर दैट नेम आई विल टेल यू लेटर ऑन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस इंटरव्यू first of all i want to thanks uh, from our blossom convent school our management committee then our principal ma'am and our vice principal ma'am and all the staff members and now today along with me in our uh, from blossom's convent school and in our blossom studio one very known teacher i think you all favorite teacher is there along with me yes i'm talking about our science hod physics lecturer Mr Rajkumar Kakkar who is there along with me to give us more information regarding that because our students are asked so many questions so what is that how it's launched what is cost so many things so all that answer i think we can get it from the Mr Rajkumar Kakkar welcome sir good morning ha uh, good morning how are you, how are you sir? sir fine fine sir first of all we want, i want to thank you so thank you so much for that ki on my first call he reach over here it's my pleasure Uh, morning, I talk with him. He said, "My students have this much question, this question," and immediately he say me, "Yes, why not?" Sir, first of all, I just want to ask you for my information also, yes. and for my student information also. Ki isro, uh, what is the isro and what type of organization it is? See, uh, first of all, I want to congratulate mm-hmm. all Indians and especially our uh, Blossom Convent Thank School, uh, who yesterday had a proud, <coughs> who yesterday had a mm-hmm. proud moment. Uh, in which uh, india successfully mm-hmm. launched the chandrayaan 3 mm-hmm. after which only usa russia and china have become successful and uh, now come back to your question mm-hmm. what is isro like everybody knows in the world ki america has nasa mm-hmm. uh, in the same way india in bangalore has isro which is indian space research organization mm-hmm. <coughs> which is in bangalore near a place called hassan okay. because from wherever in space in india electromagnetic radiations photograph images have to reach mm. they reach to that place and isro is an organization which, which for last 50 years it has started but in last 5 years it has made many world records like it has launched 105 satellites of 10 different countries and now it is under the uh, process of helping 70 other countries Great. to launch their uh, what you call satellites to moon or different planets mm. from indian earth Which first Indian space watch from from France or USA? The students see, and What? in this uh, students, if mm. like uh, students, if after plus two, mm. medical non medical students, even a particular mm. stream of commerce mm. and humanities, mm. if they have a proper uh, what you call uh, uh, aim in life, after plus two they can go for aeronautical engineering mm. or artificial intelligence engineering or computer science, anything related to that. and these uh, colleges have good placement mm-hmm. link with isro because near to that just 25 kilometers away mm-hmm. is hcl hindustan aeronautics limited which plays a great role with drdo in uh, making indian defense uh, ammunition and uh, indian space research organization see students even i was not knowing that this much uh, isro is doing i think it's a very useful point for you sir one more question is there might we are listening the news also previously chandrayaan 2 now chandrayaan 3 even me and my students lot of person are asking what is the major difference between chandrayaan 2 and chandrayaan 3 rajiv sir uh, chandrayaan 2 in 2019 when it was launched mm-hmm. it was successful okay its first stage from earth mm-hmm. into the space where it has to revolve around the earth mm-hmm. was successful then from earth towards moon it was successful the third stage was also successful there are okay. three stages okay, okay, okay. one is from uh, earth mm. to the space of earth mm. then from earth to moon mm. second mm. and third is revolving around the moon and landing on moon mm. it was successful only the last 750 meters away from moon surface just, just few the lander mm. lost its uh, what you call speed mm. and it crashed on the moon surface yes. there it was a failure mm. otherwise it's a partial success 
and chandrayaan 3 is just the extension of chandrayaan 2 mm. where india was not successful mm. the scientists with the help of the government mm. with just a budget of 600 to 700 crore rupees mm. one fourth or just 10% of what usa china and russia have uh, spent money on has now launched uh, chandrayaan 3 it's a great i think i just told uh, this is a very important information sir has told means between chandra and 2 and chandra and 3 there's not a major difference and has sir told so you one thing both hmm. had lander hmm. okay. both had both have hmm. rover rover okay. that is common in them fine main mission of india is to show the world sure. ki uh, hmm. because the moon hmm. in its southern hemisphere hmm. has lot of rough patches okay. and mountains and all and hmm. because there is no atmosphere hmm. there from outside whatever asteroids what you call uh, big hmm. stones hmm. they come and hit on moon and make lot of craters there great, great. and what we see from earth you know apano da kende on chandrama hmm. from our indian and culture yeah, view yeah, yes, yes. those are craters on uh, moon hmm. and there that is a southern hemisphere hmm. where the temperature is minus 236 degrees celsius and no country is successful to land there on the southern hemisphere in chandrayaan 2 they tried hmm. but this time they have set up all sensors and i feel after 43 days on august 23rd Mm-hmm. the landing of that chandrayaan is on moon and we pray it is successful and it will be more proud moment for india sir we will wait for 23rd august and again we will make again ha uh, yes i'll come back i think yes. yes yes okay i promise you okay sir uh, one thing more i listen in the news also like that they are saying they are comparing the cost i you know understand with the movies or like that what is that sir please tell me so first uh, why the mission mm. was uh, expensive is mm. because uh, sensor related techniques mm. you know like you take a car mm. car has a- at least 1100 two sensors mm. very very small very small beginning for example like mm. if rain falls on the windshield mm. you can see those uh, what you call uh, car wipers mm-hmm. they themselves start mm. you can see the glass getting picked up mm. and nowadays because seat belt is important mm. as you sit there is a voice coming from the car until you don't wear the seat belt yes yes, yes the yes. sensor will keep beeping on it is there, and yes. indians have learned to nap that yes, yes ma'am and then later accidents so sensors play a very important role so in the same way that all technology was borrowed from outside and uh, countries like usa used to give it a high rate because india had to show but now it is made in india and make in india because of that the things have become low cost Sir, uh, they are comparing with the one movie also. Adi Purush. Sir, what is the budget of Adi Purush? That is seven hundred crores. And what is the and budget? India is six twenty five crores. Students, see, this is the difference. A movie what we are making is less than that cost. Really, we have to salute our uh, Indian Israel scientist. Okay, sir. Uh, last, last mind, last year, but can you go last? No. There are unlimited. Ah, uh, yes, but yes, but time is very. Ah, sir. अब ये है कि वो बच्चे पूछते हैं जब मैंने भी देखा है यस्टरडे आई सर्च ऑल्सो ऑन चैट जीबीटी कि इन एक्चुअली इतना पैसा हम खर्च रहे हैं व्हाट इज द बेनिफिट टू इंडिया रिगार्डिंग दैट रिसेंट एंड द फ्यूचर टाइम सर सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज व्हेन बिकॉज़ यू नो इट इज नॉट टेक्नोलॉजी फर्स्ट यू हैड अ फोन व्हिच वाज दैट रिंगिंग वन देन द बटन वन केम यस यस देन बटन फोन केम नाउ स्मार्टफोन हैव कम एंड स्मार्टफोन्स आर रिप्लेस्ड बाय द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस फोन्स एंड नेक्स्ट 5 इयर्स नोबडी विल होल्ड द फोन एवरीथिंग विल बी इन योर आर्म और पाम ओह फाइन यू विल यूज दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड नाउ द वर्ड एआई artificial yes, intelligence yes sir yes i read somewhere it is 2050 a person not knowing about the artificial intelligence like a illiterate person sir i i read somewhere sir india is uh, yes. the hub of young generation okay, yes. and if properly this young generation mm-hmm. is utilized mm-hmm. we can go for many research yes, like petrol diesel or mm-hmm. all exported from outside mm-hmm. 80 to 90% yes, yes sir yes now why this is done is why many uh, viral is going mm. on what is the benefit of this mm. you know the word two words are there sustained development yes, yes in yes. that what is there for present generation also mm. uh, minerals like gold iron mm. copper aluminum has to be yes, used yes, and yes. petroleum is there everywhere yes sir. silicon you know where solar panels yeah. Yeah. semiconductors yeah. it is all yeah. smartphones your tvs yes. cameras what we are using yes sir clear it is all based on semiconductors mm-hmm. these are nothing but coming from earth's crust mm. and uh, you know for past 200 years Mm. earth's water and these minerals are used in lot of way 
and you see the result is there within some next 25 years this will finish from earth yes. and our future generation which has now born in and coming in they will not have anything so they have to look look for alternative sources that they are looking like wind energy mm -hmm. solar energy all but scientists are going outside in space to go for moon planets and just searching mm -hmm. do you have water there do you have minerals there so that first they can search that is the function of rover mm -hmm. lander will land it then rover using solar panel will come out on the moon surface and search for water and minerals using gamma rays and all and then uh, the persons themselves or robots can go there and in any amount they can bring from their minerals water anything to earth's crust uh, earth surface and uh, and many other things these are used Sir, that is a limit time otherwise i could have told but this is the main thing hmm. for future generation for india and the world i think student what the sir is telling the minerals all the things we are directly getting from the from the moon really i think uh, uh, me also you also we never searched about it ki why this is happening and when this is happening lot of answers sir has given to us sir it's really great i want to thank uh, thanks to you and uh, we all also we both want to thanks to our again once again management committee our principal ma'am vice principal ma'am and our staff thank you so much thank you so much sir thank you for giving time thank you thank you, thank you.